Hi everybody, excuse the lighting, it's not ideal. I've actually got the ceiling lights on just so that I can kind of give you a little bit more of a detailed room tour. Now recently, well, on last October, we did renovate the living room. Sorry, I've just tidied it and the dogs are already making a mess. You'll have to um, excuse that. But yeah, we did a room renovation October of last year, 2020. Um, we did a massive room renovation. We were having the floor replaced because we had some dampness issues. And so we were just going to replace the parts of the floor that were necessary. Then we said, well, why don't we replace the whole floor? Because the, the whole aim of it was, was to stain the natural boards throughout. Um, because I really like that whole natural floorboard look. And honestly, anyway, we'll come to that. <laughs> anyway, we I wanted to do that. So it just spiralled from there. Once that was done, it was like, let's just move the stuff back in. Then it was, well, why don't we just like paint the walls? And then it just added on and added on until we actually ended up renovating the whole room. And this room looks nothing like it used to. Um, the only thing that stayed the same is the window, which we're going to hopefully be replacing towards the end of this year, because this has been in here for 25 years now and needs replacing. And um, the ceiling stayed the same because the ceiling is painted white. I'll talk about the ceiling in the video as well, actually. Even though we did nothing with it, I will talk about the design of it. Because there are a lot of really nice design features in this room. And a lot of them which were actually done by me. Not just me, though. <laughs> me and my dad together, um, we renovated this house when I first moved in. So when I got my house, I had lived through my mum and dad basically renovating um, every house I've ever lived in. Um, which is before I moved here, I only ever lived in three houses. One when I was a baby, so I don't really remember a lot about it other than I remember the garden and digging up worms. And then I lived in two houses that I do remember. One renovated once, the other one renovated twice. So I knew that I wanted an old house. I really like old houses. No disrespect to anybody who likes new. I don't like new builds at all. Love the sturdiness of an old house, love the history. Um, so for me, it was always going to be an old house. Love the high ceilings, big rooms, all that kind of thing. I just love the whole aesthetic of an old house. Um, so I really wanted that. So when this one came up, I knew the lady who lived here. Um, I knew the history of the house. Um, so basically, the man who owned this house, um, oh. <laughs> the man who owned this house, he actually owned this house and the house next door. He actually built them. And those were the first two houses in the street to be built. He basically just built these two houses. He actually lived in this house that I live in. And next door was this shop. So this house itself has only had three owners and I'm one of them which is quite unique for a house that was built in around 1907. She's 113 years old, but she's only seen three families of people in her. Um, we call her Gladys because Gladys was the lady who had the house before me. She moved here with her husband, had three sons. Unfortunately, he died um, around the time of the war. And so she lived here 50 years by herself. Now, some people might find this quite disconcerting. She died in my dining room. Um, so I know all the details. My uncle knew the families. But I don't mind that somebody died here. I wouldn't mind if I bought a house and 20 people had died in it. I'm just not that type of person. I'm spiritual. So I kind of believe that if you don't bring harm to the spirits, then they won't bring harm to you. And this room has got some really nice unique features that me and my dad actually put in. So one of those is the ceiling, which was wood, and we painted it white the last time it was decorated, around 14 years ago. And because I decorated it when I renovated, and then when Alec moved in around 14 years ago, we decorated this room, new carpet, and we painted the ceiling. And then we haven't done anything with it since. We're not people that decorate all the time. Um, but I just, I said to him, I says, um, now's the time. I just, it's so funny when you first move into a house, it's like you, you want to decorate it and do things. But I don't think you've found like your true aesthetic then. And I guess we all kind of change our minds with kind of like what we like in decorating and things like that. I apologise if you can hear any noises. The dog is chewing a bone down there. Um, yeah, but I think that I have finally kind of accepted what my kind of aesthetic is. And that I felt brave enough to actually physically do it. And I kind of, I'm really happy with it. Because I think the teal walls were a step towards it. And um, so what we've gone towards in this room is kind of very much reflecting who we are. Um, but it's very aesthetically, we're going very gothic. Um, it's mild, I'm not going to lie. We haven't gone like full on crosses and bats hanging from the ceiling and thrones. Um, but we have gone for more of a gothic aesthetic. Um, gothic Victorian is what we're kind of calling it. And then within that, we've got splashes of like more me, that, to be honest, of who I am. But that Alec really likes, you know, the aesthetic of it as well. So you'll see that as I show you around the room. I'm really excited to share this room with you because 
uh, we weren't intending on actually fully renovating this room we were just going to replace the parts of the floor that were damaged and then we just ended up thinking let's replace the whole floor because we want to stain the boards throughout the fall of the um this room and the dining room which are kind of adjoined by double doors um so we thought right okay let's just replace the whole floor it's easier to stain and then it just snowballed from there and it was like shall we paint the walls and then shall we paint the skirtings which i never thought i'd ever see myself doing because i love the the wood the look of wood i much prefer them painted so i'm really glad we did that and it snowballed and it got really crazy um but there are a lot of really nice secondhand pieces in this room and there's a lot of furniture that we've kept we haven't actually brought any new furniture in and new furniture we have brought in is actually secondhand furniture because that's more of who we are that's it without further ado without more waffling on let's get on to talking about the features of the room so quick mention to the front porch so it's a little difficult to show you in this light the light is not great because it's quite bad weather so i didn't want to take the dado rail off which has been there forever um, but we did paint just the same color above and below and at the end of the day we just bought these stickers off amazon they're actually stickers that you put on tiles so you put these over existing tiles to kind of refresh them and i really like them actually i think they're really nice they were 7.99 for a roll and i think that you got um 20 on the roll i'm not entirely sure but they're, they're different so if i just give you a little pan along and we actually really like how that looks good and then in here we just hung the last supper i'm not religious but i really do enjoy this i love the colors and the tones of the colors in here i just painted the frame on this picture and this was a charity shop find and so on this side is an old mirror and we haven't painted that as yet and that is another very old mirror it's really heavy that's a charity shop and then I got this picture off eBay, um, which is one about a magician, a magician's trick. Um, and I really just like the sepia sort of colours of it, and I love the image. I want to go for that old fashioned look. We've got a doormat there, which you can't really see. And then we've got this one, which is the Ministry of Magic visit as well. This is the door that's in front of you. I had thought about getting rid of it, but once we painted it, it looks great. And then we've got this sign. This was basically cut off a hanging sign from um, Primark. There were actually ribbons tying it together. We just cut the ribbons off and we stuck Ministry of Magic on the door. And we really like it because Harry Potter fans, you know. And then Alec got these stickers. It says Knox and Lumos that go on the light switch. And then above the door, there is this gap here and it never had any glass in since I moved in here. So for 24 years, <laughs> there was no glass you up there. can't see much up there, but there's now a piece of glass up there. Me and my mum and dad put that up. It was a lot of work, <laughs> but it was worth it. It actually helps keep the heat in as well. But yeah. When you step in, you come to this runner here. See it better. There's actually a matching rug on the main floor. Um, but this is designed to look like an old rug. So it's green, because that's what we went for in this room, was grey, so shades of grey, not 50 several shades of grey <laughs> and then we went for a pop of green the idea is is that we're going to do the rooms grey um so the dining room is going to be grey and we're going to have a pop of like um sort of burgundy in there and maroon we're going for a harry potter theme but on a very sort of simple basis so this is the slytherin room because our pop of color in here is green and then this i don't know if you can tell there's parts of it that look like it's very worn it's designed to look like a very, very old carpet. This is our radiator cover, which I absolutely love. We actually bought this unpainted, but the other idea behind that was, if it was unpainted, we'd be able to paint it the same color as the woodwork in the room, which we're glad we did now because it matches the skirting board. Um, but it did take some painting, painting all these little crosses. <laughs> but instead of costing 57 pound, it cost 47 pound. So I'll save 10 pounds there. So this is a radiator cover. I wanted to get a radiator cover because the radiator looked odd standing there, like this modern thing in this old fashioned room. Um, so we picked this up, it was easy to put together. And then this one has got the cross pattern on the front, which is what I wanted to go for, like the more gothic kind of feel. And then above there, we've got this amazing image. Um, hard to see again, it's just lighting and stuff, but it's a man basically, I like to see him as undressing and the woman's lying asleep in bed. It's very film noir. Um, I like the idea that he's kind of come home from work and he's like kind of getting undressed to get into bed. I don't know, I really love 
the image. There he is, you can see him. I just think it's really, really nice. So that's there, and that's really huge. <laughs> um, professionally framed, and I'm not sure if it's, it's got a signature on and everything, but I think it's just a print. I'm not sure, because Alec brought that with him. When you come over in this corner, we didn't replace the wall lights because we like them. We replaced the wall lights when we decorated the room when Alec moved in 14 years ago and we put these silver ones up, which we got on sale at home base. And we really like them. They were seven pound on sale. And I think we picked up those shades at the top for 150 each and they're black. And we just thought they went completely with the room. Then in this corner, we've got this picture. Now this actually came from a charity shop it was three pounds 95 i'm going to struggle to show you it but oh no look as you move it's holographic so the letters change color so you can see the purple there going into the green and then you've got the pink and then at some point um it kind of just looks very champagne colored so that says home sweet home it is signed and it is numbered and I found out after I kind of researched this online and this was £150 so we got it for £3.95 at a charity shop. We absolutely love it. I love that when you come in that's what's there, home sweet home and I think it's a nice simple piece of art. So, And then this table, I've had this forever and this was wood and we painted it the grey which is the same grey as the woodwork so you can see it kind of matches in. And then, yeah, I do have a gravestone under there. I got that from TK Maxx. It arrived and the lights don't work, or they weren't working, but we managed to get them working. But I messaged TK Maxx to let them know, and they basically refunded me, and I only paid £10 for it. So he's there. And then you can't see her, but I will pick her up to show you. And she's just a wooden hippo. She lost an ear. <laughs> um, but, yeah, she was from a charity shop. And she's called Claire, just because we like the name. <laughs> So that's the little table. So we didn't replace that, we just painted it. And then on top of here, we've got this old phone. Um, yes, very old. It's only got five numbers on. And it's got the um, rope cord. It's really old. So that was my neighbours when he passed away. They said, come and pick anything that you want. And I picked up the two phones and a couple of other bits and pieces. And you'll see another couple of pieces in this room. I was very close to my neighbour and I was devastated when he passed away. So it's nice to have some features of his. And I just love the look of this old phone. Then I've got this TK Maxx, which is the Headless Horseman. I've got a ball that I got when B&M, B &M, <laughs> um, British Home Stores was closing. And I picked that up for around £3. I think it's meant for the garden, like a bird bath or something. But I love birds. You'll see the theme there. Um, and I love the little ball. And we put keys and things like that in there. And then I did get this lamp from Argos. He was £55. It's one of few new pieces that have been brought in this room. But I wanted a lamp for this corner. And I wanted something a bit darker and a bit different. And we love dogs. So when I saw this, I was like, right, okay. And I got him on it buy now pay later and basically paid him off over three months it was so he's definitely worth it he's got a really nice face <laughs> so we love him and yes birds there's a theme um so and then in the drawer we have three boxes in here and that's one of those bridges i was just talking about in a great ready with me video that use them under your mask that goes up on your nose and it just means that the mask is not touching your face so you can breathe easier so this is Tony's box, my box, Alex's box. And we've also got the gas key in there, just because it's useful. And then bits and bobs. It just enables us, us three, to have like separate things. I've got my work ID, my keys and things. Tony's got her keys and we can separate the things out. And then when we're running out of the house, getting ready to leave, basically we know where we can pick things up that are ours. And then here, this was a vase that was my neighbour's. It had flowers in, but I took them out and now I just use it as an umbrella stand. And I actually really like it. Um, it's a really big vase, as you can see. And then I love these kinds of umbrellas. Um, I like see-through umbrellas, birdcage umbrellas. And so I've got a couple of those in there. And Jari's <laughs> just checking that out because she's nosy.